Some of my favorite memories were made at my grandparents' cabin in Winthrop, helping my grandpa cook up breakfast. Usually we made one of two signature items, cinnamon rolls or waffles. Papa is getting a little older now. He just turned 90, and we don't visit that cabin as much as we used to. But taste can be transported, and the memories made in that little kitchen, well, they last forever. So today, in honor of Papa Bernstead, we're making his famous Belgian waffles. The great thing about this recipe is it can be made ahead of time. So tonight, we're whipping up the batter, and then tomorrow morning, I'm heading over to my parents' house, and me and my dad are gonna make some waffles. The batter calls for two cups of lukewarm milk, so I like to warm it on the stove for just a couple minutes to take the chill off. Then pour the milk into a mixing bowl, add one packet of dry yeast, and stir until the yeast is dissolved. Now it's time to get our hands dirty and separate four eggs. Whites in one bowl, yolks in the other. Set the whites aside. Then beat the egg yolks and add those to the yeast mixture along with a tablespoon of vanilla extract. Now for the dry ingredients. Sift two and three quarters cups flour along with a tablespoon of sugar and a half teaspoon of salt. Then add the dry ingredients to the wet and mix. Once everything is combined, stir in a half cup of melted butter, then set the bowl aside. This was always my favorite part. Now we are going to beat the egg whites until they form stiff peaks. This is where a hand mixer comes in real handy. Beat the egg whites for several minutes until the peaks stand straight up when the beaters are lifted. This is the most important step. Now we are going to fold these egg whites in and we're gonna do it very gently because we don't want any of that air to get away. We want this batter to really fluff up. Now let the batter stand in a warm place for 45 minutes or until it doubles in size. Now if you're making this in advance, cover it up and throw it in the fridge overnight. Just make sure you let the batter proof for 45 minutes before you start cooking. All right, it is Father's Day. We're over here at my parents' house, and my dad is going to be my sous chef as we make these waffles. Dad, you ready to cook some up? I am 100% ready. While these are cooking, Dad, this is a, a special recipe that, that your dad uh, made every time we would go up to the cabin in Winthrop. What do you... What are your memories of these waffles? Because they're, they're kind of a seminal part of those trips. What I remember was you were an early riser, and uh, between him working on the waffle and you kind of scooting up, standing on a stool or sitting on the counter, you were, you were helping him. So you were learning the waffles. You were a much better chef than I am, and I'm a better eater than you are. <laughs> Because we've got this baby waffle, it seems only right to let it cool for a second because it is oh, piping hot. That's all right. I'm hungry already. <laughs> Tastes just like I remember. Great. They're delicious plain, but in my opinion, Papa's waffles are best enjoyed the traditional way with butter, maple syrup, berries, and yeah, maybe a little whipped cream. You know what? I'm gonna tell you this right now. One waffle will not be enough. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> All right, love you, man. Love you. Just as good as I remember them. Brandon has close to a dozen cooking and recipes. To check them out, head to our website.